Good morning, friends. I'm Sean van Rensburg, and I'm from South Africa. And I want to talk today about fear and anxiety, doubt and unbelief. And it brings to my knowledge, why do we fear? Why do we have this unbelief? Why do we have this doubt? And why are we anxious? And it brings me to the answer that we fail to understand God's sovereignty, God's all-powerful, God is almighty. We doubt God's ability that He can come true for us. We doubt God's ability that who He is in our lives. And today I want to encourage someone today. Maybe you that person who are fearful. Maybe you, 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 you fear your future. You fear what, what is going to happen in your life. You fear for your family, you fear for your, 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 your possessions. There's so many things that we can fear, we have fear about. Your doubt should not over, overshadow you. But we should come to a place where we stand in the Word of God. Just as Timothy said, he said in, this, in the Word of God, he said in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. And we have the love of Jesus. Perfect love cast out all fear. And the love of Jesus has been poured in our hearts by the Spirit of God. So therefore, we don't have to have fear. Because all the fear when we are completely submitted and surrendered and abiding and remaining in Jesus, His perfect love. He has cast up all fear. Therefore, there's no fear. We don't have to fear death. We don't have to fear separation. We don't have to fear rejection. We don't have to fear the losses. But we have to know that perfect love cast out all fear. For anxiety, you may be anxious of your job. You may be anxious of your spouse, of, of anxious of the, the business. And there's so many things that we get anxious about. But here again, Paul in Philippines says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Be anxious of nothing. We as believers, as children of God, shouldn't be anxious about anything. So, but why are we anxious? Why do we have this doubt and this unbelief? Because we have not trust the ability of God that is all-powerful, almighty. And as 1 John 4 verse 4 says, Greater is it is within you than the one is in the world. If you have understanding, that's why the spirit of understanding, we must embrace the spirit of understanding. If we have the spirit of understanding, we will understand how great and majestic and how powerful God is. As Jesus said to his disciples, he said that all authority and power has been given unto me, so therefore I give unto you. And today, that delegated power and authority has been given to you, my friend. As a child of God, as a believer in Christ, you have been given that delegated power and authority. And therefore, it's not for you to let it lie dormant. It's for you to exercise it. It's for you to, as, as Jude says, that you know, pray in your heavenly language so that you exercise your faith in the Lord. So God is pleased with our faith in Him, not with our doubts and unbelief and anxiety. Be blessed.